another video and today I've got a haul to do because I went shopping. Two quick things guys. Filming with natural lighting so excuse the variations. Second thing, excuse the mess behind me. Just moved into my new house and it's not looking amazing but it's getting so I bought some makeup stuff and beauty essentials and of course I've got some clothes and accessories to show you. So let's start off with the makeup I think. I went into MAC and I'm like so pale right now that I need to find a foundation that'll fit me. And because I live in Spain, no one is as pale as me. So the only place that carries like Tipex colour MAC so I've got NW15 which is even a little bit too dark for me <laughs> that's how pale I am guys so I bought myself a little studio fix fluid in NW15 so that's super pale it's such a good foundation because it's got such a nice coverage to it and it's not extremely thick like most foundations and it stays on really nice then the majority of the stuff that I got that's like beauty related I bought in the supermarket because I just really like the brands that they sell in the supermarkets here the first brand stuff that I got was from Astor and I bought this it's a 24 hour perfect stay concealer but it says it's a perfect skin primer and I don't know if it covers up really really well but it is so pale that I had to get it it's 001 ivory and then I got some Astor foundation which is called skin match in the shade porcelain so another really pale shade another thing I picked up from the Astor counter is this lipstick it's I have Heidi and it's in this lovely coral shade it looks red on camera but it's actually quite corally and it's really really sparkly glittery it's in the shade 010 exciting and then the last thing from Astor is the big and beautiful false lash look volume mascara and let's open up this mascara see the brush and Brush. Honestly, I just fell in love with the packaging. Purple and me, we go together. Then I went over to the Rimmel counter and I had to pick up a Scandalize uh, giant liquid eyeliner pen. I don't even know what it's called, I'm just talking. So yeah, up to 24 hour wear, Scandal Eyes Jumbo Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, so just gonna open it up. Whoa, -ho -ho. that looks like a Sharpie or like a big permanent marker. The ones I've used on all my boxes whilst moving here. Jeez, that's gonna be real, real big dramatic eyes. Fancy. And then whilst I was strolling along in the supermarket, I came across these bad boys, which are like a huge essential. In spring slash summer, I love to wear shoes without socks. And that means loads of blisters. So, <laughs> I really like having these because they're just they fit so nicely in your handbag this little box here and they're just blister plasters and then in the supermarket we have a Avene counter I don't know if I'm saying it right I'm so bad at pronouncing these things um, and I bought some gel cleansing gel um, I used to use this when I was quite young around 13 14 and I remember it being like really really good and I find that my skincare routine is really like slim to nothing right now so I want to get into like moisturizing, washing my face more often. I then went to Sephora because I'm obsessed with Sephora and I didn't buy much because I had already spent quite a lot of money on clothes um, which I'll show you guys in a bit but I did see this at the counter because they always get you at Sephora on the counter they have like loads of minis and I saw they had a mini tangle teaser it's just so cute I'm gonna take it out of the box there's already a hair in it it's such a vibrant pink colour and it's got this little back board here so that you don't get hair everywhere and whatever's in your bag doesn't get into it and it's just the perfect size for your handbag it brushes so nicely and apparently this is what makes your hair look so shiny all the time so 
yes guys I'm excited for this purchase and I think it was only 10 euros or something I kind of was cheeky and went into Kiehl's now Kiehl's are expensive I'm not gonna lie they're really expensive um, but it's all like natural ingredients and stuff and I couldn't resist I bought a midnight recovery concentrate I couldn't help myself it's only the 30 ml one so it's a small one but what it is is you put it on your face um, before you go to sleep and it just repairs any blemishes or if you have dark circles under your eyes it makes you look more awake when you wake up so that's all the cosmetic -y beauty stuff that I bought and now on to the clothes which are all from H&M I'm a little obsessed with H&M guys in case you didn't know I just realized I've got more beauty stuff in this H&M bag because I bought some stuff in H&M so I'll quickly show you those I bought this little lip gloss in this like brown colour very pretty it's like a brownie brownie beigey pinky shiny shiny lip gloss and then I'm obsessed with H&M makeup brushes because they're so cheap and they don't last very long but they last quite long and they're actually really good quality for what they are priced at and I bought this duo end brush it's foundation on this side and blush on this side but to be honest I'm gonna use the blush side as like a blending side and that foundation one probably for like concealer or something this first bag I've got the pile of clothes coming up here the first thing I picked up were of course a pair of black leggings they're 10 euros a piece which is quite a good price for leggings if you're not shopping in Primark um, and they just last ages and ages the next thing I picked up I don't know if you're going to be able to see this it's a dress it's got this cute Peter Pan collar in black. It's quite long, so I think I might take it in because that's a little too long for me, for my taste anyways. Oh, how cute. You guys might judge me for it, but I don't care. I fell in love with it. It's Barbie, yes. I know I'm not seven years old anymore, but I couldn't resist. It's so pretty. I just think it looks so nice. I look like such a girly girl with that shirt and I'm not even that like girly. And then the next bunch of H&M stuff I actually ordered online. This is a peplum skirt. How cute! It's a mixture between viscose and polyester. Not the best quality fabric but it's got such a cool texture to it. And then the next thing is of course another peplum item. Ta -da! It's hot pink. I feel like I'm going into this like really girly stage of my life. And then the next thing that I got is this blouse. Ooh, swallows. Very, very fancy. Ooh, I think it looks quite nice. And then what I got, I'm already using it because I could not resist. It's this iPhone 5 case. It's very difficult for you to see because it's so reflective. But yeah, it distracts from the fact of how scratched my phone is and now the most gorgeous thing that I have bought it is boom these amazing boots they're so long they go to my knee yes big suede and they've got a bit of a wedge I'm in love with these they're so pretty I could die if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel it helps me out loads and I upload weekly now so thank you all so much for watching I love you all loads